The Institute of Veterinarians in Poultry Industry conducted their annual scientific session which was attended by over 400 key delegates comprising veterinary and medical professionals, dietitians, nutritionists, media friends and many government officials from animal husbandry and poultry departments. In this meeting, Prof. G. Deve Gowda, President of Institute of Veterinarians in Poultry Industry addressed certain myths about hormones and cholesterol issues floating around chicken meat and egg consumption. There are some myths that myths is too much in our country. That is I want to highlight, I want to, I want to give some information, new information about this. Because what's happened about a few months back in the television, there was a television program on poultry. They have shown a chicken injecting vaccine with a syringe, but what they interpreted is showing it as a hormone, showing it as a steroid. So that has gone into the minds of people. You could say media is good, at the same time sometimes media is bad. We want our media friends, we want our media friends to give the correct information. In this regard, recently in Hyderabad, one of our big poultry farmers, what he said, if anybody proves it, using hormone in any broiler forum, I will give an award of 50 lakhs. 50 lakhs. Similarly in Kerala, 25 lakhs. So far nobody has come. So what it shows? It is simply a myth. It is a false information. Carrying a false information. So I am as a professor, as a scientist, and overseas association of scientists of 200 highly qualified people. On behalf of them and on behalf of our farmers, highly experienced farmers, highly dedicated farmers who are producing this nutritious chicken. On behalf of them, I assure you, we never use hormones, we never use hormones, we never use steroids, in broiler production. This, I can say, authoritatively, not only in India, any country in the world. So again, I request my media friends, put this one in the front page, because this has made a lot of damage to the consumers. You know, in India, our consumption of chicken is 4 kilograms. In America, they consume 60 kilograms. Coming to the next item is the cholesterol. Cholesterol is not bad at all. It is an essential nutrient. It is required for our brain development. Every brain development, each and every cell in our body contains cholesterol. Cholesterol is required for vitamin D synthesis. Cholesterol is required for bile salts formation. Bile salts required for tract digestion. Cholesterol is required for sex hormones production. Without cholesterol, sex hormones will not be produced. So, this is what's happened 30 years back in the United States, American Art Association, they made a publication, huge publication. So, consuming too much of cholesterol is bad for health, it leads to heart disease and so on. Three years back, same again, the American Art Association, the medical doctors, they conducted a huge study involving thousands of people in different countries. I think it is something like 50,000 people. Huge study they conducted and they come to a conclusion cholesterol is not responsible for heart disease. Cholesterol is not responsible for heart disease. It is not a risk factor. What is the risk factor? It is the inflammation. It is a sugar, it is a sedentary life, and this kind of factor and trans fatty acid, if we use the oil again and again, trans fatty acid is produced. So these are the factors, and it is well proved. And again in the cholesterol, there are two types. One is HDL cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. HDL cholesterol we say is a good cholesterol, and LDL cholesterol is a bad cholesterol. So all this information, what I am telling, 
is available in the website American Heart Association. They published three years back. Now many doctors they advocate to consumers because it is such a rich, rich package of nutrients. We find the vitamin B12 and other nutrients only in the animal products. We never find in the vegetarian food. For example, you take vegetarians who never consume any animal, any animal food or certain animal products, but still many of them they have high cholesterol level. How it comes? Our body synthesizes cholesterol. Whether you take egg or not, whether you take meat or not, our body synthesizes, liver synthesizes. And many of the vegetarians, equally they are also having heart attack. Recent report in the newspaper, nowadays in India, the incidence of heart attack is increasing as compared to America. Why? In America, they consume so much of meat. In India, what we consume is very negligible. So it shows the other factors, other risk factors. They are responsible. So these are all the myths.